First, we want to calibrate our phone to the targets. These will be separate to the sheets you install in the boat. Tape down the calibration targets provided onto a flat surface in a rough 3x3 three three pattern. The numbers do not need to be in order. Then, get your phone out. Ensure to use the highest quality settings and no zoom. Take at least one landscape and one portrait photo from each side of the square, plus one bird's eye view photo. You should have nine photos total. Do not simply rotate the same photo multiple times. Physically take one to two photos from each side. Once finished, upload all the photos to the Google Drive link supplied to you. Then let us know via email the make and model of your camera or phone. You will be creating a blueprint of your boat floor by taping the provided targets around your boat floor and capturing them within photos. We highly recommend taping all four corners of the target sheets so that they don't move during the template creation process. You will need to use all the supplied targets, spreading the targets evenly throughout. Make sure to place the sheet with forward and aft first in the center of the boat with forwards pointing towards the bow. Then, spread the target sheets and individual targets at random, place more targets than you think you need, and get a good density. You want the targets spread so that each photo taken captures at least 4 to 15 targets. Keep the targets flat and do not create patterns or lines of targets. Ensure to not use zoom or wide angle when taking photos. First, Take at least one overall photo that captures the majority of the targets. Multiple overall photos from all sides will produce the best result. Second, take one group of photos with a bird's eye view of each panel or area. Then, take another group of photos with a slight angle, some tips and tricks for when taking them. Move yourself between photos of new areas. Do not simply rotate or roll the camera while standing in one place. Do your best within the constraints of your boat. We recommend taking a step or two between photos and ensuring there is significant overlap between each photo and the next one. Photos can include a mix of portrait and landscape photos. Cover as much of the areas as possible with targets. Include targets along edges, as well as in the center. As a general rule, always take more photos than you think you need. To reduce blur, Ensure you have good lighting, especially if you are indoors or undercover. Use flash and hold the camera steady. If you are taking photos outdoors, avoid excessive glare and shadows. Review and check your images at full magnification on your phone before removing the targets. You should be able to clearly see where the boat's floor edge is at full magnification. If floor edges are hard to see, place colored masking tape along edges. That is the last of the photos you need to take. Now upload the new photos to the supplied Google Drive link into the template folder. After we receive your photos, your blueprint will be processed. We will then send you a design proof for your approval. After you have approved the design proof, your flooring system moves on to be cut and sent out to you. Now the fun part, sticking your flooring down. First you need to prep the surface. Use acetone and a clean rag to remove all grease, adhesive, wax, dirt, dust, and other debris where C-Deck is going to be installed. Then, use isopropyl alcohol and a new clean rag to remove all leftover residue. Ensure the area is completely dry before continuing. Now, you are ready to install. Step 1. Before pulling back any protective backing, Lay out the C-Deck pieces in their designated locations to verify that the fit is correct. Step 2. Identify the first piece to install. Peel back an edge portion of the protective paper, and without sticking the product down yet, position exactly where you want it installed. Once you are sure that the piece is in the correct position, press down firmly so that the piece will not move. Step 3. Continue to peel back the paper backing, pressing down on the top of the sheet firmly until it is stuck down. If you misplace the sheet, you can carefully pull it up, reposition and press down again. However, this is not recommended as it may cause the product to stretch or rip. Step 4. Use your hands and a handheld roller to run over the surface of the freshly installed piece. This will ensure the adhesive is secured and will get rid of any air bubbles. Press down firmly on all edges to ensure the C-Deck is sealed. 
Step 5. Get rid of any stubborn air bubbles by making a pin prick along a design line. This will ensure the puncture becomes invisible once resecured. Do not cut or pierce the top layer of foam, only the underlay. That's it! Sit back and admire you new C-Deck and handiwork.